Hello, everyone. This is your Saturday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Jason Laney. And the sizzling summer of 2009 continues. High pressure parked over the four corners, keeping things quite toasty for much of the state. Now, we do have a little cool front that's working through the east. This boundary has been the focal point for big thunderstorms, but it also lets a little moisture seep west overnight. That said, look for another round of showers and thunderstorms, possibly even in the metro come Sunday. Thank you, Jason. The body found yesterday in a creek off the Red River has been positively identified as Arthur Chavez. He has been missing since early June. Tonight, Chavez's family watched a slideshow of pictures remembering the 29-year-old. Arthur was the father of three and owned his own contracting business. He was last seen June 6th. Yesterday, police pulled his body from a creek in Red River near the bar where he was last seen. Shyla Chavez says her husband was spending the weekend with his cousin, when, cousins when he and a cousin went to the Bull of the Woods Saloon in Red River. They'd only been at the bar for an hour. She says both had been drinking, but they were not drunk. The cousin went to get food. Bar employees told Shyla what happened next. And they said maybe 15 minutes after his cousin left, you know, that he got, like, severely intoxicated, like if he was drugged. When they walked him out, or carried him out, as they say, he fell and cut his head. Why do you still take an intoxicated, injured man, a head injury, and sit him across the street and leave him there? Nobody claims to have seen Chavez alive after that. The Red River Town Marshal's Office has said they think Chavez slipped and fell coming out of the bar and cut his head, becoming disoriented before he disappeared. His wife disagrees, though. She suspects foul play. The Office of the Medical Investigator will make the official identification of the body. Funeral arrangements are pending. A New Mexico Marine got a hero's welcome today after serving four tours overseas. Recon Sniper Staff Sergeant John Colby was escorted to his welcome home party in a fire truck. Colby is a Rio Rancho firefighter. He left his fellow firefighters last year to join his combat team of Marines in Iraq. Today he's back home and was ready to start work when he got a big surprise welcome home party. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.